kids, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads and I'm going to show you how to do a really fun knotted necklace using a button from your bead box as well as some of the wax linen brown cording. To get started you need a pair of scissors, your cord and a couple beads and or a charm to go on the design. So from her box, Bella, who's 10, made this fun pink and green and flowered necklace. I have some blue beads from the box that I have, as well as some blue check glass beads. So these are blue resin faceted beads and then some check glass as well as a fun little button there. I also decided I'm gonna add a charm to the front of mine and I have a dragonfly here. I have my wax linen cording, which again is on that roll, and I have a pair of scissors. What I did was I measured my cord three to four times the length of my box. So if you can read the name on the box, that Potomac Beads, you can take your box and use it to measure your string one, two, three to four times, depending on how long you want your project to be. What I'm gonna do then is take the end of my cord after I cut it, and I'm gonna go up through the back of my button. I'm gonna make mine a little bit fancier. Put one of my little tiny round beads there on, and then I'm gonna go down through the other side of my button. Just enough on the back there, about an inch, that I can tie it into a knot. Right over left, left over right, and get that nice and in there. Parents, the wax linen cording is really forgiving as far as you don't need to tie, you don't need to glue it or anything to it, but be warned that once you make your knot, it is really hard to get out. You can wait till the end, or you can right now, trim down your extra little cord that came off your knot. From here, I'm gonna create a pattern and a design to go onto my wax linen cording. You can kind of twist the wax linen cording as you're pulling away from it to make it nice and straight, almost like a needle. Add however many beads you want onto the design. And if you want to afterwards, you can give a little knot. I have a pattern of three beads that I'll do with my three blue beads. I'm gonna put three of my check glass, and these happen to be four millimeter, are the size that they are, onto my design. And after my three beads, there's no right or wrong pattern, I'm going to tie a knot. Loop your thread to make a loop, and take the one that goes over top of the loop and go through the bottom and pull. Try to get that knot as close as you can to the beads, pulling that knot slowly and tying. You don't have to do a knot. The older kids, I would recommend challenging them to do so. Younger kids, just let them string it on. From here, I'm gonna add one of my bigger beads. Now you're gonna be aware I need to add a smaller bead before one of my bigger beads because the bigger beads have a really big hole and if you wanna see that knot, it'll go over top of it. I'm gonna add a small bead right after that big bead as well and then push them down next to my knot. Do another overhand knot, making a loop and bringing the thread through the middle towards the bottom and tying a knot. I'm gonna continue with my pattern till I have about seven inches of knotted beads onto it and then I'll show you how I'm gonna add on my charm. So if you wanna incorporate a charm onto the necklace, you don't wanna just string it on because what's gonna happen is my firefly or my butterfly is gonna go to the side. So if I want this little dragonfly to sit correctly, I'm going to fold my thread there, my wax on and cord in half, and put that through the loop. Pull a little bit more of my cord through the loop and make that loop go around and fly around the dragon. Keep the dragonfly right there and pull the opposite side, which will make it sit right nice and in the center of my necklace design. From here, I continue on like I did on the other side. Go ahead and tie a knot and then continue on with your pattern. This way my dragonfly will hang nice and at the bottom of my necklace design as I continue to knot around and create the necklace and the pattern. Once you have your pattern or your design finished and the length that you want it, you want to get ready to make your loop on the other side to hold on your button. So whether or not you have a button with a bead in the middle or just a plain button, we're gonna make a loop that our button sits inside of. 
Here on this design, I did three times the length of my bead box. And the more knots you use in between your project, the more cord you're going to need. So if you do know that you want to do a lot of knotting, you may definitely want that four feet or that four lengths of your bead box. If you don't want to, three will be fine. So I want to go in here and make a loop for my necklace. And what I'm going to do is do an overhand loop. So I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to make it loop right next to my bead. If you have a lot of thread left, you might want to cut it down. I want my loop, if you have a ruler, to be about an inch long. I'm going to take that loop and I'm going to put it under my finger, go around my finger, make that loop right there that we made, go through that loop that I just made. So that bigger loop, the smaller loop goes through the bigger loop and I make an overhand loop. Pull that wax linen cording nice and tight and then stretch the loop open and your loop will be right in there. You're gonna make sure that your loop can fit your button and that it'll hold it from falling off the design. Once you're done then, you have your beautiful necklace design. You can also do the same technique and method for a bracelet if you want to or you can do it as a nice long window catcher. You can have fun and hang it in your window so it sparkles. You can also do it for a bookmark or for many other designs and decorations as well. Thanks so much for having fun and working with your bead box while learning how to do knots and a knotted necklace. Remember, you can make this project so many times with all the materials that you have in your box and make them look completely separate and different. You can also put room of your cord between your beads if you want to make it a little bit longer. You can do a bracelet that wraps around multiple times and have fun creating all of these different design ideas. Remember, you can give us a little thumbs up you can hit that little subscribe in the corner with your parents, as well as if you need more materials, check out the links below me to shop with us online at PotomacBeads.com. There's tons of inspiration, tons of ideas, and tons of beads available there. Remember, if you do want to, comment below and say what you're using about your bead box, what the best thing that you found is, and some new ideas that you might have and how to use your supplies. As always, thanks so much for watching and enjoy your bead box and your new knotted necklace.